Hello ladies and gentlemen, Wolferton here, and welcome to a new game series called Parking Dash. If you basically notice from the description below from this video, I stated that I want to try something else new. I'm not always going to post Hearts of Iron 4 videos and all that stuff, but I always like to make sure I try something new once in a while, or games that I like that I want to post. Not always hamper always to the masses, but anyway, enough enough talking and all that stuff, but here is going to be the first stage of Flo's Diner. Here we are in Donutville. The phone is ringing. This is Karma. Never heard of a great Uncle Henry. She inherited property in Diner Town. She'll finally move out of the apartment. Wants to know where the property is and great Uncle Henry and like the man she meets, and like the proud owner of this empty lot, which is kind of a bummer. Hmph. <laughs> he wished the man could stay, but he's double parked, and now Mr. Big comes in the picture to try to take the empty lot off Karma's hands, but Flo, as always the good Mary Sue she is, tries to tell Karma that maybe opening up a parking valet spot in that empty lot would be a good idea to make money. And, <laughs> well, here we are. Smell the fresh pavement, lads. Today's our grand opening. It may look like an ordinary parking lot, but we're about to transform life for drivers in Dinertown. So let's get started by helping these young ladies first, and our only first lucky customers. Okay, so more people are discovering the joy of valet parking, and they expect it to be stress-free. They'll get totally bent out of shape if they have to wait too long, and we'll end up with a lousy tip, so let's not let that happen at all. Some people's cars are always filthy, so let's scrub them up before returning them. Our customers will be so delighted that they'll sure leave an extra tip. To wash a car, just pick up the bucket and head over to the dirty car. I can't believe nobody ever thought of this before. It's pure genius! Thank <laughs> you. 
Bigger means better, so we added two new spaces to our lot, just in time for the arrival of the businesswoman. These important ladies are way too busy to, wal to waltz around and wait, but they give hefty tips for prompt service, so it's worth the extra effort, so let's spruce up the lot a bit for them. Okay, now let's roll out the red carpet, fo folks. We have some celebrities parking here today, so we'll see lots of stretching limousines and their drivers. These guys are great tippers, but their limos are really are a pain to park. They take up two whole spaces, and we'll need to plan really, really well to get through the entire day.
Hello, let me in on one of your secrets to make customers happy. Just feed them donuts. So we have a vending machine sto stocked with boxes of fresh donuts, courtesy of Flo's Diner. Obviously. Just pick up a box and deliver it to the crowd waiting to drop off their cars, or the crowd waiting to pick up their cars. Okay, the cell phone guys will start arriving at the parking lot today. They are very impatient and they have noisy cars, so if a car alarm goes off, a gentle kick on their car will turn it off. Just hurry, as alarms will annoy other awaiting customers. Thank <laughs> you. 
It can be a real puzzle to shuffle cars around a lot, so we invested one of the greatest inventions of all time, the parking elevator. This thing is so cool we can put two cars in the same spot. It's a breeze. The first car gets raised high in the air and the second we can park underneath it. Brilliant. Most people have no idea what it takes to become a valet parking attendant. It's logical thinking, planning ahead, social charm, and speed. So now that we've proven we've got the brains and stamina, we're expanding the lot a lot more. Parking is just about under control here in Dinertown, so I wonder if any other towns could use our help. Thank <laughs> you. 
ahead for you. Busy, busy, busy. That's what we're about to be. The very, very businesswoman convention is happening today, so we're on a tight schedule to discuss this year's theme, never wasting a second. So get the donuts ready, it's going to be a serious rush today. And that's it for Flo's Diner. Well, I have to say, that was a pretty amusing stage we went through. So, anyway, for all you parking valet attendees out there, I'll see you guys in the next stage episode of Wedding Castle in Stage 2. So keep on parking those cars, peeps. So last stage, we already did Flo's Diner, and now we're going to be doing Wedding Castle. So let's go. Flo, you and Quinn have been so great taking me in. Wish there was a way to pay you back. Don't mention it, just glad the parking problem is solved in downtown. And now Quinn comes in, they're, shut, they're shutting what down? The favorite wedding castle spot is shutting down, the lovely old castle outside of the town, that is. And they're closing it at the end of the season. They, had, they do have enough business, but the parking is so bad, people don't want to come to the wedding. And parking problem? Well... I guess you can see where this is going, then. 
we paved the slot just in time for the next wedding. The guests are all agreed to come now, so that they can park here and not walk five miles up a hill to reach the castle, so keep your eye on the new radio. If a light is flashing green, that means I'm ready to hear a new song. If you switch the station for me to click the tomb button, I'll get a quick boost of speed. Alright. So it's going to be a good day today. The groom's uncle Al will be arriving and will have the privilege of zipping around in his luxurious sedan. He's known to be extra generous with his tips, so let's give him the best top-notch service.
Okay, now we have to watch out. Here comes the real gas guzzler. The SUV guy's vehicle is so wide it takes up two whole wide spaces. Too bad he doesn't pay twice the extra price, so this one is going to be a bit tricky. Brr, it's getting really cold, so time for some wintry rever. The last thing we need is a car spinning in its own wheels in the snow. So if the snow piles up in one of the parking spaces, we can now sweep it away with the broom.
Okay, this lot just keeps getting busier and busier. We even got a new customer, Derek. While he's got a fancy car, he's really just an average Joe. <laughs> Couldn't have said that better myself, honestly. Alright, our customers are in for a new treat. We set up a vending machine full of hot cocoa. That'll cheer them right up if they get bitter about waiting around in the damp cold.
Now we have another stroke of brilliance here. Customers can now reserve a favorite parking spot ahead of time, so when a customer with a reservation arrives, we will only be able to park their car in only that reserved spot, and if it's still parked there when they return, we will receive a score as an extra bonus tip. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so now the bride's aunt Ethel will be pulling up in her old clunker of a car. She's anxious about getting to the wedding on time, so she's not going to be very patient. This has to become one of the snazziest parking lots, with all the flowers, the ribbons, the crepe paper, and balloons, with so many weddings planned for today, we'll be extra busy, so I hope our car shuffling skills are really up to the test. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're expecting record-breaking attendance at the wedding today, so if we can get through this day, then it'll be time to bid this castle goodbye. We solve another parking trouble problem in this part of the city, and there are surely other places in the city that will need our fabulous valet services. And that was it for the Wedding Castle in Stage 2. And up next, we'll be heading into Diner... Into Diner Town's Chinatown area in the next third stage. Anyway, for you parking valet people, that's it for this episode. And I'll see you, ladies and gentlemen and other peeps, in the next stage. And this time, as they say, let's head on down to Chinatown. I'm so glad the parking business has been taken off, and the apartment is really great. It's a little small, but not bad for now, once you finally decorated, that is. And it's at least close to where you work. Chinese New Year coming up, it's going to be crowded near the shop, I can barely get to work. Is the parking bad? 
and are you kidding? Sometimes it's so bad I have to walk 15 minutes just to get to the shop. Ever since Mr. Big has been snooping around, looking for property development, things have gone from bad to worse. And Mr. Big again? I wonder what he's up to in this time. <laughs> don't know, but I do know that it's up to me to help solve Bobby's parking problem in Chinatown. So, let's roll! Ah, here we are at the parking lot in Chinatown. Spring has arrived and love is in the air. Unfortunately, our newest customer is so in love that he's forgotten which car is his. He won't tell us which car it is, so we'll have to just remember by memory, or try all of them, at least. Okay, what a windy spring day. All the trees are dropping their flowers all over the place. We're going to have to be ready to sweep them away if they start clogging parking spaces. Some of these cars are also dirty again, so we should be ready to wash them also in case. So that means I have to deal with dirty cars and also falling flowers. That's just great. Come <laughs> on. 
So wow, we've got two new elevators, finally. Also, it seems like we're going to ha get a lot of those cell phone guys today, so it'll be a good idea to keep an eye on their cars. When those alarms start ringing, everyone will get upset really fast. So it's a good thing a swift kick usually takes care of those car alarms. So we just hired our cousin Jimmy to help come and clean us the cars. If we got something on for him to do, just click on him and then click on the car that we need him to wash. He can chain wash cars as well, just like we do. Oh, my God. 
Oh boy, it's finally time for Chinese New Year, and we got a new customer, a lovely young woman who drives the parade float. And let me just say, these parade floats are huge, they take up three whole darn spaces, so we'll have to be extra careful about it. Hmm, maybe we can use them to make a huge color matching bonus. Finally, Bobby gave me a good, great suggestion. A fortune cookie vending machine. That's right, people around here just love the mystery they bring to their lives. That'll keep them entertained while I deal with their car's destiny. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Okay, now some students from the local Chinatown University have found out about this place. Their cars are small and fast, and they're reasonably patient as well. Oh, my God. 
The radio says that today is going to be extra windy, so we should watch out for falling cars. Well, falling flowers, actually. Dirty cars and... Yeah, some car alarms, too. Okay, seems like there's more people coming into the parking lot now these days, and fewer people parking on the streets. It's good news for the festivi festivities and good news for us and our business.
Okay, yep, this place is looking great. Thank <laughs> you. 
and well, and well, ladies and gentlemen, that was technically it for Chinatown, going downtown in Diner Town's Chinatown. And up next, we're going into the summer summertime of the beach. So I hope you guys stick around for this for this stage in the next episode, and I will see you, fellow peeps, next time. We're having we're gonna get some fun in the sun, so we're getting head gonna get over to the beach. Nice to see you back in your old digs once in a while. Hm. Flo's new friends, Walter and Scarlet, running the doggy daycare downtown. Kind of a hot day for a dog walk. Planning planning on walking the dogs to the beach, but it gets congested. Really? The parking at the beach is so bad down there recently, there's a great lot by the beach. But I hear the owners are getting bullied into selling it to Mr. Big. Really? I could open up a new parking lot and stop Mr. Big in one fell swoop. Not bad for a day's work, especially good for such a hot day. I know all the dog owners have to leave their windows open, so their poochie poochies can get enough air. The only thing that makes it bearable for me is the car wash. Windows and car wash? Yeah, that didn't go so well. Oh well, I guess that means I have to- I can wait till I've cleaned up this mess. <laughs> Can't say it honestly better myself. Alright, here we are at the beach. It's hot in the summer sun, perfect time for listening to some awesome cool tunes. And parking some cars as well, we'll go with that. So we got a new customer to go with our new digs, the dog lover. Leaves his dog in the car, and if we want to move a dog, the car later, we have we better be prepared with a doggy treat to let the dog move, to let us, t to make the dog have us move a car, so yeah. Alright, now this place is starting to look like a sand dune. The wind's blowing the sand all the way from the beach into the parking lot, so if this happens, we'll have to sweep it away quick.
Whew, it's a picnic day at the beach, and it looks like there's going to be a lot of ton of SUV guys and dog lovers showing up today. So remember this, the SUV guys can only drive their cars into two spaces wide, and dog lovers won't let you move a car once you park unless you bribe the dogs with a doggy treat. Finally, we got a vending machine installed. This ice-cold lemonade should keep people from forgetting about the summer heat.
Alright, we have a great music selection. We got a bunch of stations to listen to now with all kinds of music. Just remember, the changing of a station will give us a cha speed boost for only a couple of seconds. Alright, one of the best parts of this job is test driving so many different kinds of cars and models. The kindly seniors will have their most fabulous old automobiles, and they're really, really patient, but they still tip like it's 1924 or something. I don't know why.
Alright, this parking lot is looking great and all. We got some good record temperature here at the beach, so sh we should be ready for a lot of customers. Don't forget to keep people cool with the ice cold lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, Cousin Jimmy sure is doing a great job of keeping everyone's car washed. Just don't forget to tell him which cars he needs to really take care of. Alright, so we got some reservations today, and we can't forget to give dogs their treats if we want to move their cars, as said before. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh boy, we're almost just about done with this be beach's parking lot. Just a little more work and we'll be ready to move on. I wonder what adventure is in store for us in the next... in the next parking lot.
And I do have to say, that's it for the beach. Up next, we're going into the super secret fifth stage level. We're heading to the moon. Yep, that's right, folks. We're going to be parking cars on the moon. <laughs> Crazy, right? Anyway, I hope you peeps love this episode so far. And I'll see you guys when we're parking cars on the moon. We're going to be heading towards the moon. So let's get to it. The parking lots have been a good success, and the new house looks great. Luckily, I'm glad all the parking problems have been solved. And what's that? Karma, I have traveled from far away to ask for your help. <laughs> I knew it, you're gonna help- you want me to save your alien civilization from destruction. But surprise, it's Mr. Big! My new Mega Mall location is having parking problems. Why should I help you? You're the one making things tough for us. And Mr. Big? Well, he took the defeat gracefully. You beat me at my own game fair and square. But how would you- But have you ever wanted to travel to the moon? Oh wow, the moon. Even the last panel really says it all. Oh wow, here we are on the moon. This place is amazing. We're gonna have to be extra careful though because everyone appears wearing space helmets that can make them hard to tell apart. Alright, the man. This moon is amazing, but the cars can be really slow up here, so it's a good thing that Mr. Big has this nitro. 
we can give the cars a boost by picking up the nitro and then moving a car. Until the customer picks up their car, it's going to be super fast and keen too. Okay, now it's time to make use of some good gravity. Thanks to our new gravity crane, we can swap cars next to each other by clicking on both cars. So let's try it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
We finally got some good snacking machines up installed here, just in time. You think people would keep a cool head on the moon, but it seems like they're more impatient than ever. Still, some moon snacks will calm down even the most hot-headed customers. It looks like the whole moon is in love. We got a ton of love-struck guys coming today. They're patient and totally distracted, so it'll be up to me to remember in which order these guys came in. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, even the moon still gets dusty. Moon dust piles are up in the spots and we'll have to brush them away, no problem. Alright, there, there was a moonstorm yesterday, so I had a lot of sweeping up this morning to do to get this place shining. But I think it's not over yet, so prepare for the broom and shovel for the shift. Oh, 
Alright, well I can say, I can't say I agree with his method, but Mr. Big sure does build a bitty prig of swanky moon palace. I'm kind of glad to be able to help out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, Mr. Big says he's almost got the automated parking attendants calibrated. He just needs a couple more shifts to do it. I can't wait to get home and see Flo and the, and the others again, but I'm gonna miss this place. This is it. One last big hurrah shift before I can go home. It's gonna be totally hectic, but we can finally make sure that it was the best parking day ever.
Well, Karma should be getting home. I don't know, she said she'd come back today. The spaceship lands. Everyone welcomes her home. Everyone's parking problem is solved, but... But Karma says she that her friend still has a parking problem and... She sort of landed right on her car. <laughs> oh boy. And that's it for all the stages of Parking Dash. I hope you do like... The, ser the video this the video series overall for this game and I hope you did enjoy it or not it it doesn't really matter but but I hope you guys do like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time for another gameplay 